Hi, it's me again with Road Old Tips and Tricks. Somebody, I made a video using this gentleman's design and then somebody asked if you could put it on a circle. Well, if you put it on a circle, if we go to Windows and Dockers and Properties, you can see that this is 47.13 inches long. If we, with the ratio lock, make this 47 inches, it's way too thick to go in that circle. So we need to use this shape, but have it uh, joined together kind of and just make this longer. So realistically, I would like to clean it up first because if I hit plus on the keyboard and mirror it, the edges are off a little bit. So we could try a couple of things first. Um, what I would like to, let me make sure I got rid of that other copy and I did. Uh, I would like to make a new uh, box. So I've got my nudge factor set of 1.1. I'm going to nudge these down. And I'm just going to go through and nudge all the interior parts down. Whoop, went twice. It's a little uh, time consuming, but I think it'll be worth it in the long run. Just a few more. And it's kind of a little bit difficult because um, those open spaces right here but we got them all. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna left click, right click, and I am going to, I'm gonna try a contour tool and see if it won't contour that shape to get that, get that pattern. Go to effects, go to effects and contour. Let's contour to the outside. Okay, I didn't group it together. And then the contour should, should work. Let's let's go uh, 0.25 to the outside with square corners. Way too much. Let's go 0.1. That doesn't look half bad. I could maybe go a little bit less. Let's go uh, 0.09. And what that did is it made it thinner. But it made it equal. So now I'm going to hit, I'm going to control G to group that. I'm going to control D to duplicate it. And now look, our outside lines are right on top of it. Well, they're not. Let's try, let's back up here. Let's see what's going on. So we've got all our lines. Let's try. Oh, man, what would you do? Um, you know what? Let's try grabbing. We can't really. You know what? We, okay, let's take all the inner parts out of the way for a second and nudge them down. And I got them all. Let's take all these and hit T like in Tom to put them all equal. Now we can nudge these back. Now, I'm, I messed something up there. Um, that bottom one right there, um, I need to nudge it out of the way. And then when I hit T like in Tom, that's going to put them all at the top. And then that's going to be on the bottom, so it shouldn't matter. Now we'll nudge those back. And we'll group this together, Control G. And then I'm going to contour it just like I did before. Let's, uh, let's break the contour apart. And move it down and control D and make a duplicate and then mirror it. And let's see if our, yes, now our lines are on top of each other. So we're, we're good to go. I mean, the, the interior lines don't really matter. Now we're a little bit off right there. Tell you what, just for this, we're just going to delete that. We need smooth lines. I don't see any more. Uh, maybe one more right here. Yep. But this is going to work. Okay. 
Now we can nudge this back and we're good to go. And you know what? Those other lines just might have been on the other part. Now control G to group that together. So this is 10.05. Our, I know this might be a little bit confusing to some of you or all of you. Uh, remember we have 47.13. So this is 10. We need four of these. So we're going to set our number on 10.05 nudge. And we're going to select this and we're going to plus key, plus key, plus key. So that now should be pretty close. That's 47. Uh, we might be able to stretch it or we could cut it. Uh, there's really no problem with cutting it. But let's try just stretching it a little bit. Let's see what our interior section lines look like. Let's see if we can. Nope, they're not overlapping yet. So let's back up here. And let's make our nudge 10 inches. That way it'll overlap that line. I'm going to actually move this up here. So control D and make a duplicate. Now let's look at our interior lines. And see, they, they're overlapping so we can cut that. Matter of fact, we could overlap a little bit more. And I see another boo-boo right there. But for the video, that's good enough. So now... We're going to go control D and move that over control D and we should be close to we're 40.5. Now let's just stretch that to that magical, whatever it was, 47.13, 47.13. At least we're not stretching it too much and it's not that thick. Now we can do a number of things, but we're just going to go through here and delete these interior lines with the virtual segment delete key. And we could have moved those over a little bit more. I am going to smart fill it back in to seal it all up. I think one more and we got it. This is where your pan tool could really help you out by zoom, once you're zoomed in, see if you have all the cuts. I didn't think I made all the cuts, but I must have. Wow. So now let's take the, let's uh, zoom in and let's smart fill this. Voila, it worked. Now we got double ends and we could, you could fix that. You could cut that out of the way. Left click, right click. Now we need to, and somebody was confused about the artistic media tool. Let's, uh, let's move that out of the way and put this up here. And we're going to take this one and go to artistic media, paintbrush, save. And we're going to call it uh, 48 inches. Now we've got the artistic media tool. Click on the, the circle and you always have to go up or down. That looks pretty good. Now, we're the two. So I'm still not, you know, for the, you know, there's several ways you could do this. Let's do this. Let's go, because uh, this is only going to happen on the ends. Break the artistic media apart. There is our line, which we can delete. And then we can take the shape tool and we could align these nodes. As a matter of fact, they're not quite even touching. So this is going to help make them touch. And that's probably due to that was just off a little bit. And now we can take our artistic media tool. Now this is a little bit, maybe a little bit thicker. And there's a ways around that. But now let's take the smart fill tool and fill that in. And you have that design around the circle. This is a little more difficult than if, if you were designing it to start with. So, you know, I could have nudged those two more together. Uh, but the pattern looks pretty good. Anyway, I hope that helped that gentleman, and thank you for watching.